what's good, man? What's good? Put on my camera on. What's up, man? Chilling, 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 man. So I guess see you, you got to finish. Here. You said what? I see. I see you finally in here. I I didn't even know you started yet. Yeah, I was about an hour and forty five minutes late, man. I um, you know, I was running late from the gym. Yep, yep, yep. So, what you want to start with, man? Man, we got to pick up from 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 the conversation yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know where we left off. I got I got kind of sidetracked. I was kind of busy yesterday. We uh, trying to figure out we trying to figure out where the money at, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Where my motherfucking money at, man? I don't know, man. I could I couldn't tell you, dog. I don't know. I don't know, man. My 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 goal <laughs> right now is just to make more money. I'm like, fuck it. I, that that no, nah, you got to figure out where the money went, bro. Where the money yeah. is going, the amount of money that you making, where is it going? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, what we here. That's why we here. We here to figure it out. Yeah, I, I I do got I do got a lot of a lot of um, different expenses though. I, I tell you. Um, so let's break it down. Let's break it down, man. Let's break it down. Yeah, you, you do moving, you do moving. Yeah, you talked yesterday about the charges, one hundred and twenty-five dollars an hour for two guys. You charge one hundred and twenty-five dollars an hour for three guys. What is your truck fee? Um, it's generally a hundred. Just mo uh, most of the jobs is a hundred. And you got a, what a hundred? I mean, a sixteen foot truck? Uh, fifteen foot. What's the competition charging down there for a truck fee? Shit. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I I know some of them charge. Well, no, nah, I I know one company that's kind of my competition. I hear people talk about them. They fucking charge like, so they basically do what I do far as with the with the um the labor. So they only charge like one fifteen an hour, but they do three people all the time. But they say they only charge like fifty dollars for. They don't call it a truck fee. They call it a gas fee. So, but they charge a three hour minimum. So that's where they make their money at. But, okay, and my main competition is a labor only company. They just charge a fucking oh they so they do kind of charge a truck fee. They charge a fucking gap. They charge a travel fee. So they so they they charge like one seventy five an hour for two dudes, but they charge like eighty dollars just to travel. So basically charging eighty dollars for a truck fee. So that's what they doing. Uh, yeah, pretty much all my competition uh, uh, way higher than what I, what I'm doing, and so I, right, I, so, I get a lot so, of jobs. So, so, so you do a lot of jobs. You charge one twenty five an hour plus a hundred dollars on the truck fee. Yeah. What 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 expenses you got? You you paying? You got me on in the background? No, no. I I got my phone hooked up to the charger. Would that affect the um the shit? The, I just hear uh, an echo. I, just, I hear my I hear myself echoing. All right, I got these windows down. Hold on. It's still going bad now. So, 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 so let's talk about this rental truck. You said you paying how much for the rental truck a week? All right. So I say on average probably a good uh, four fifty, maybe some shit like that. Is that with That's the mileage? With the miles included. Miles included. Miles okay. and so I'm doing like two ninety before miles, so mm -hmm. they they charge me like two twenty five base price, and then with all the taxes and all the extra stuff, it, it's be like two ninety, and then on top of that, you know, the extra is the miles. So I say about four fifty. And what you paying for the park the truck? You paying a parking truck truck yard parking fee, right? Well, I don't. I, I park the truck in my apartment a lot. So, but this thing, I I, I rented a extra space at, at at this uh. So I got a shop that I be I be working on shit at, and I got a, a extra parking spot over there. Now sometimes I park the truck over there, uh, just to save gas here and there. But I'm trying to do that shit more consistently, uh, 
Cause right now, like I was telling you, man, I don't know where the, where my money going. So I was like, let me start trying stuff. So, but the uh. thing is, with that, um, uh, I don't know how practical it is, but so technically, yeah, I got a, I got a place that I'm, I'm paying. I think I think they charge me like a hundred a month for that spot too. What's but I got two think? spots. What's that? You got two spots over there, or one? No, I got two spots. I got so. So originally, I had just a, I, I, I had um, I was parking. I had to find a place to park my trailer when I was running with my pickup truck, cause the apartment complex I met, bro, they complain about every fucking thing. They always put notes on people's doors, complaining about all type of stuff. So I got a, I, I was parking the, the trailer at um, like an empty spot down a complex that nobody park at, cause it's like you know when these apartment complexes, it be hella spots is open. So I was parking in there, and I just got a note on the trailer one day talking about I gotta be I gotta be gone. It gotta be gone like three days or somewhere. It's gonna be cold. So then I had to get I had got a I found the outdoor place right down the street. They charged me uh, sixty five now to do that. Then I'm paying right, hundred. So so, so uh, you paying a hundred to park the truck. You paying sixty five to park the trailer, right? Yeah. What did you make last month? What did you gross in June? Um, it was fifteen something, but yeah, it was fifteen something. I got and how much QuickBook. And how much did you spend? See that that's 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 the part. So I've been I'm I was tracking no expenses. So that that's the part I fucked up at. I've been I've been tracking my expenses. I started like a week ago tracking up my expenses. I wasn't. Tra I was just all I was worried about how much money I was bringing in. But now I see how important it is to know both of them now, cause I'm like, damn, I'm you know I made a decent amount. You said you like, said I'm, you just now figured out it's important to know both of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, shit. All all I need to know is I'm. I was thinking like all I need to know how much I'm making. I'm like, shit. If I'm making a decent amount, it ain't gonna really matter. Shit, how much I'm spending, but that's that's the dumbest shit ever, cause you can fucking make. <laughs> A million, you can make a million, but if you spend a million, million and one, you ain't made shit. So that's, but so I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I, I didn't put a big, you know, emphasis on the, you know, tracking the expenses. So, but um, so I don't know you what be, the fuck I. Spent you been that watching month. me for two years. Yeah. No, so no, I don't well, that long. Yeah, you have. Probably yeah, you been. have. You have been watching me since towards the beginning. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. Yeah, I, don't have. Know. I, don't, I don't know. You in every, you in every, you you in you in majority of Discord discussions. You watch all my content because you've come up before. Why yeah. did you not think knowing what you spent was important? When you be watching me, do you be comprehending what I be saying, or are you just watching me for? Because I guess just it's just cool to watch Mark. I know it's cool to watch Mark. I know as I know it's yeah. cool to watch me. But you don't be listening, though, do it? You don't be listening. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be listening, man. I'll be listening. Well, what's going on? What's going on, big dog? I felt, now, I, I felt like, shit, I'm like, well, I ain't spending that much. So I don't be doing, like, outrageous stuff. But um, I don't know. It's just, like, like I said, the, the you know, um, shit that's been too tight for my liking a lot of times. Like, like I, I have a decent amount put up. And then once I start paying shit and doing stuff, I'm like, oh fuck, I ain't got, I ain't got as much as I thought. So that's when I start thinking, I'm like, yeah, man, I gotta start really seeing what, what I'm doing, because if not, I'm just gonna be in a constant cycle of making money. I think I, I, I think I got you know a decent amount put up. Then I start really handling my business. Then I realize, you know, I'm not really, you know, so really where I need to be at. So that you know, I, I don't know, man. It's 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 just been a learning learning experience, man. You I know? think you got too much going on. Based on what you told me yesterday, based on what you tell me today, I think you got too much going on. You got too much shit that you paying for. Okay. You're paying a lot of shit, and you only operating one vehicle. You operating a a a, a fifteen foot box truck that you rent. Yeah. I don't so, know, so it's it's some other shit that you it's shit that you're not telling me. I know it's shit that you're not telling me for expensive. With the amount of money that you make, okay, you said you made fifteen thousand last month. How much are you spending on fuel? 
How much are you spending on payroll a month? How much are you paying yourself? How much are you paying yourself? I already know you robbing from the business. I know you robbing from the business. You know why I know? Because yeah. some of the shit that you divulge that that Silverado. What's the insurance on that Silverado? We didn't talk about that. The insurance ain't, ain't that bad. It was it was actually the insurance went bad at all until I. It still ain't bad even with the commercial insurance. I What's the like, insurance? Right now, like what's the insurance? No, I'm paying like three sixty right now. That's commercial insurance. I was paying like half of that when I had regular insurance. What half of that? Yeah, that yeah, that doesn't make sense, bro. That don't make no, sense. Before I switched it to a commercial policy, I was paying like I got the same. I got the same truck, bro. I'm, I'm dead. I can see you to no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, no. You telling me? Oh no, no. Who you got for insurance? Progressive. You got progressive. Yeah, man. For 2021, 2500 Silverado LTZ. And you telling me you you how old are you? Twenty six. You telling me you paying less than me, and I'm forty four. Yeah, I don't believe you. My insurance for my truck is two hundred and some dollars a month, and I'm forty four with no accidents. The truck is parked in the garage. No I accidents, no points, and my truck is a little bit older than yours. So how is it a 25-year-old with a 2021 Silverado 2500 LTZ prior yeah. to getting commercial insurance on the truck was paying $150? I don't believe it. I don't believe you. You need more people. It was commercial. It was more. It, no, let, let, look, bro. I'm, I'm about to show you my commercial. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to. I'm about, I'm about to show you on my other phone. It don't, it don't matter where he live at. He's in. He's only twenty five with a seventy thousand dollar truck. You see that shit? That says a three sixty, right? Okay. Let me see. Let me see the policy though. Let me see the policy. Scroll up. Scroll back. Go back. Go back. No, go up to I'm the left. To, I'm trying to keep the phone. I, this shit hard to. Go down. Sir. No, you got turn. Oh, turn. Go that way. I'm not playing. This might be a per that I, I believe this is what you pay personal. That's not no that's not no commercial policy, bro. No, that's that's what you're look, look that's, on the that, progressive. That's, that's just what it say, bro. That's just what it say. That's not a commercial policy. It is, bro. You pay three hundred dollars for the car as an individual. Let me see the bro, declaration. That's a commercial let, policy, bro. Let me see it. Let me see let me see the underwriter. Let me see your insurance card. I, I can tell. Well, I gotta go to here, here, here's the trick. Go to documents and go to ID cards. ID cards. Because if it was a commercial, if it's a commercial policy under under Progressive, Artisan Truck and Casualty underwrites the Progressive policies on the commercial side. So I want to see if it says Artisan Truck and Casualty. I'm trying to find that shit. I. Shit, they got my company name right here. Let me see that. I want to see what the policy says. What the, all right, matter of fact, here you go. It's going to tell you the vehicle and everything. Hold on. Damn, this, I'm trying to get this in the camera. Can you see? Hold on. I need to see. I need to see the declaration, bro. Some it's something that declaration. Is that that's full coverage, right? Yeah, man. This, bro, I'm not lying. I'm. I, I'm. Look, listen. Man, I ain't got nothing to lie about. This. This. It just don't seem. Yeah, it, it might. It, I. I feel you. It. It don't, it don't really seem right, but I don't know. I got it. That's the reason why I was telling you. Um, I was going back and forth with um, Enterprises. They wanted me to up my insurance. This is the reason why. I'm like, I'm not about to, because when I went to go change it, they want they was trying to make me pay like damn near to a hundred a month. I'm like, hell no, nah. I'm keeping it where it's at. That's what I'm saying. That insurance right there, even just for that vehicle, it just is just not to me. It's just not adding up, bro. 
Shit. It's something that you... It's some coverages on there that is it just like it can't be just liability because you're still financing it right it has to be full yeah, coverage I, yeah I, I got i got the real insurance on there all right so here's the thing you pay let's let's just keep it there you paying three something a month for the insurance you paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for the truck yeah that's that's what they're killing me at, yeah now what what's your interest rate on the truck i have no fucking clue all right why did you buy the truck but I'm be honest with you. I didn't buy that. Tr- I bought that truck to go make money. Like, so I, I didn't. I didn't buy that shit to look good. So I had a little. So the, I had a little F one fifty with a two point seven uh, liter engine. That it, it, it like it was good for what I was doing, but I wanted something that was gonna be able to like tow stuff, like a bigger bed. Like, so that's what I was looking for. Uh, so so that's here's why the I got. I hear you, but you bought it and you don't know what your your interest rate is. So when yes, you went yeah. to the dealership, you went to the Chevy dealership, you test drove it, the, you gave them your your paperwork, whatever you needed, finance approved it. They came, the sales guy came back. Who's financing the truck? Um, Bank of America. All right, so they came and said, "Yeah, Bank of America picked up the deal. All right, it's a go. We got you. Know that fifteen hundred a month." For what? What you took out? Sixty months? Seventy two months? Yeah, I took I took I think I took the longest one they let me get. Shit. What was it seventy two? Yeah. yeah. So seventy two yeah, months. Seventy two yeah. months, fifteen hundred a month. It's like, all right, come on back to the finance office, we're gonna sign the paperwork. Yeah. You went back to the finance office. You bought it from a Chevy dealership, right? Mm-hmm. You went back to the finance office, you sat down with the finance manager. And he told you fifteen hundred dollars a month. I so when I when I went, so this is what happened, bro. They finessed me. So this is what they did. I told them because I'm looking at the truck. I'm like, bro, it's it's. I'm using this for business anyway, so I can pay a little extra. Like it made sense when I first got you it. You using it for business? What name is it registered under? No, nah, but. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm hustling, but I'm I'm making money with it though. I ain't getting it to fuck around with. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm look. So I I bro. So like I was telling you the other day, it was a guy. It's a guy I met off Craigslist, and he was like selling like couches and shit on Facebook, and he was like selling them bitches like every day all day, and I'm just going back and forth to the stores doing the deliver from him. I'm hustling on the gig apps. I'm I'm just doing all, I'm just doing everything I can do. So I bro, I I made I made I was making money. So like what so I you know, I wasn't just playing around when I got it, you know. I, I get but that. What, but happened, that, that, what happened what happened what happened was the biggest thing that messed me up was the second week I had it, bro, I blew a transmission line in it and that and then something else in the transmission Got messed we, up after I blew we, the we line. Gonna, we we want to get to that, but I want to go back to the dealership. I want to go in the finance manager's office. Okay. When you was in the finance manager's office and he sat down and said, "All right, Mister Michael, here we go." Did they have you sign the paperwork, or did they have the digital desk where they gave you the pen and you just signed the desk? You just saw the uh, contract pop up on the desk. I I, I think it was digital. It was a digital desk where the desk was the the screen, and you just handed you the the thing, and you yeah. just signed out. Okay, so boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happened. So boom. Yeah. All right, check this out. He said, "All right, man, we got you. Bank of America is gonna pick up the deal. We got you fifteen hundred dollars a month for seventy two months, and you never thought to be like, well, what's my rate? You just said, okay, where do I sign?" No, I- so, so I'm I'm new to shit like that, bro. I, I so I, I went in there. So l- listen, when I went in there, I told them, um, long as it's under fifteen hundred, I told them that. So they soon when I said that, they made sure exactly fifteen hundred. What That's the what fuck? Happened. You went in there. You went in there with the. You yeah. went in there to pay up to fifteen hundred dollars. Absolutely, I was making hella, mo- bro. I was making similar money. I look, 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 look. You gotta understand, I was making just a few thousand under 
what I was bro. um bro, what I'm bro, making bro, now. Bro, bro, I was bro, making bro, like bro, four bro, 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 bro. That ain't nothing, bro. That damn, ain't no money. Shit. I'm I'm paying I'm paying like damn near double that in this um in this Okay, room. you listen, listen to what you said. You making twelve to thirteen thousand a month, but you willing to spend fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred make me that twelve thirteen. That, that's that's what's making me the twelve. It was the truck? You was making twelve to thirteen before you went in the dealership to buy that truck with the Ford yeah. that was already paid yeah. for. So but, listen. So, so, so what was wrong with the Ford? We got to correct the problem, bro. I'm be honest. What was wrong with the Ford? Wrong with it. Well, no, nothing wrong know. with the Ford. So why did you want the, the, the why did you want the big boy? Why you want a 2500, 2021, 2500 Silverado, not an LT, not an LT1, not an LT2, not an LS, not a WT, yeah. the work truck. Why you want to step up in the big boy with the big LTZ? I'm, why you need the leather? No, if it's no, a work no, truck, no, let me why you. you need all of that? I'm going to be I'm gonna be completely honest with you. That was the only truck that met the requirements I came in there with. Listen, I specifically told them, because I was looking for a work truck. I specifically told them, I don't need stop, no leather. Stop, stop, stop. You talking to me. You know I own a pickup truck. I own the same pickup truck oh, as you. Sure, sure. The, the Silverado work truck, the WT, is a work truck. It's yeah. a two-seater. It's not a full-size. There's no rear seat. It's a work truck. You can get in a six-foot, yeah. an eight-foot bed. And it's a fraction of the cost of what you got. It's specifically yes. for work. You got an L. I got an LTZ. Mm -hmm. If it's a work truck, what you need? Leather and all the big screen and the push screen and all that. What do you need that I, if it's a work truck? I, I, I didn't come in. All, I came there for a bigger truck, bro. That's what they li, li, listen, man. I didn't even pick that truck out. I told them, I asked them, what trucks y'all got that's got a, got a bigger bag than this one? I can do more stuff with it. And they they told me a couple options. And then they literally drove that up to the building and they showed me it. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's going to work. And that's bad. that's really how that shit went. I, look, I didn't even pick that out, bro. I was just looking for a, a, a bigger So you truck bought a truck that you didn't even pick out? Yeah. I didn't get no fuck what it was. I was like, man, as long, as, long as it's as long as you meet the requirements bro you can go buy a work truck that's a work truck <laughs> I, I i i feel you i hear that now but at that time bro i was like you know but all right this is the first thing you need to do bro you 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 went in there they finessed you they saw they saw you coming on the yeah. new for on the new. we got us one <laughs> We got us one. This is what happened when they came, when you came and they said, let me get your ID. Let me run. You, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what's going on. You got insurance on the car you got? Let me get that too. Uh, here, write your social security number down right here. We'll be right back. He went back there and said, listen, 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 Bob, we got us one up front. This guy, he came in and said he looking to spend up to $1,500. right, don't bring him the LT. Bring him the LTZ, the one that's in the back for sixty-two thousand. Bring him up there. See if we can get him approved for it. I'll do the rest. That's exactly how that shit probably happened too. <laughs> so not only did the salesman finesse you, the finance guy finesse you because they was in on the deal. They just you just went back into the back and he probably said, "All right, just sign here," and that's what you did, right? Yeah, you don't yeah, do yeah. you know what your interest rate is now on the vehicle? No, no. All right. Yeah, you making poor decisions, sir. This is why you don't know where your money at. You don't know what you're spending. You're not handling. You're not. You're not operating like a businessman. You don't know. Mm -hmm. You all right. First thing you need to do. You don't need that truck. You had a truck that you was making thirteen thousand that was paid for. <laughs> If you yeah, was already I, I, making that type, if you was listen, if you was already making that type of money in the Ford, but why I'll did you need a new? Why increase I'll, your? I'll, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, man. This, this, you, 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 go ahead. I was working like a goddamn slave in the F one fifty. I was working like twenty hours a day and shit. What bro. does that got to do with I, anything? You, I, bro, I was, I was, I was literally doing 
I was doing Amazon Flex at like three fifteen in the morning, and I used to be off fucking till like eleven. What 12. does that have like, to do? Like, what's that? What, you so you swapped the four? So what's the difference between the Ford and the damn Silverado? No, nah, cause so so my my philosophy was I just start doing like just focus on doing the bigger stuff, and I'm not yeah. gonna have to be driving all day. You, you and, you're uh, not. You, here's hard. the thing. You're not. You're missing the point. You had a Ford F one fifty with a six foot bed, right? I don't know what size bed it was. It was it was it was a decent size. I don't is know. Is the bed in the Silverado the same size bed as the F one fifty? No, it was def it was it definitely was bigger. Definitely. Was I, bigger. So the the Silverado bed is bigger, right? Yeah. So you probably got an eight foot bed in the Silverado. You got yeah, equipment that you don't even know what you got. How you got a vehicle, work vehicle, you paying for it. You don't know if you got a six foot bed. You don't know if you got an eight foot bed. You don't know what the interest rate is. You basically swapped a, 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 a pickup truck for a pickup truck. And you said you was working like a slave in the pickup truck. So what did you expect to do with the Silverado? It's still a pickup truck. So even if you got two more feet, hold on. Even if you got two more feet of space, it's, it doesn't make a huge whole lot of difference. So I don't you what the reason that you're giving giving me for making this ill advised purchase is not making sense. You're making thirteen thousand dollars in a pickup truck that's paid for. Similar to me with the Avalanche. Why would I go buy a brand new pickup? I'm making money with what I got. Why would I want to cut into my profit margin to go buy a, a, a 2021 LTZ 2500 Silverado? And pay fifteen hundred dollars a month. Like it, it's not making sense, bro. Yeah, yeah, you you right. I should have kept the F one fifty, but I'm saying like I was trying to like like last that was last summer. Like I like the um like May, June, July, August. Man, I was all right. All right. So let's let's yeah. let's correct the issue now. The truck is just sitting now, right? Yeah. You don't know what's wrong with it, but it's under warranty. But you just don't want to take it to the dealership to get it fixed, right? Basically, what you said, right? Yeah, because I like right now, man. Like, I I don't want to. So I got I got my truck and my trailer sitting, both of them messed up. And I was like, man, you know what? I'm the, I'm just gonna wait until I get everything figured out. Then I'm a then I'm gonna check check on both of them. That's the reason you, why I got them do, both. Do you think you can afford the truck, man? Honestly, do you honestly think you can afford that truck? Yeah, I can afford the truck, man. All right, so it's, boom. It's, All right, so let's figure out where the money going. Because if you say you're spending fifteen hundred dollars on a truck that's sitting, and you can afford it. Where's the money going, bro? Shit, I don't know. I, 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 I like I was telling you, man. I, I, I need to make a little bit more. What I'm making now is, is this. I'm just that's, 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 right that's not going. That's not going to correct the issue. You first have to see where I, the money is going. Correct it. It's just like I said yesterday on the live stream. You make more money, you spend more money. You have to correct the behavior. You make more money, you spend more money. You, listen, the decisions that you've made thus far are not good decisions. They're just not good decisions. Good, smart business people don't make the decisions that you made. So even if you make more money, you're going to spend more money because you haven't corrected the behavior. Yeah. A lot of the shit that you have, you don't even need it. Why would you go out and buy a goddamn pickup truck when you could have just went and bought a box truck? Listen, listen, no, listen. So. No, 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 no. Listen. You had a pickup truck that you hustling, you making money. Instead of going and buying a box truck, you went and bought another pickup truck and you're renting a box truck. You see how that sounds? Instead of going and buying a box truck, you went and bought a, a brand new pickup truck. Not only did you buy a brand new pickup truck, you're 25 years old and you're in a luxury pickup truck. You're not even in a work truck. That's a luxury truck. You're in a luxury truck, bro. You're in a lux. Listen to me. You're in a luxury pickup truck. That's a luxury pickup truck. All right? It's not a work truck. There's plenty of other. There, there's plenty of. No, listen. There's plenty of other models. Silverado, there's plenty of other models with the Silverado that you could that, downgrade. It's High Country, LTZ, LT3, LT2, LT1, WT. 
You're at the top of the food chain. The only thing that's better than the LTZ is the high country. You're in a luxury pickup truck. You're yeah. 25 years old. What you need a 2500 LTZ for? F- for a work bro, truck. Bro, so the, the reason why I got it. So uh, I, You, you I told me the reason it. why you got it. You should have bought no. a, a, a box truck. You're renting no, a box it, truck. It with a, was with, a box truck. How with is it practically was a box truck? With the trailers, I hear what, I hear what you're saying. But here's how you save money on the load though. You had a work a, a a pickup truck that was already paid for. It was a Ford F one fifty. If you would have would have bought the truck. That. That's what I'm trying to make you. So how do you think you're not owning up to the mistakes that you made in the past? To correct that behavior and so even if you make more money you still you still don't under you need to look at all your expenses bro this weekend before the end of this week you need to sit down right listen i need you to get a notebook sheet of paper draw a line down the middle I need you to write down on the left side. When you draw that line down the middle, I need you to draw another line at the top. I need you to put work expenses, and then I need you to put personal expenses on the other side. List all the bills that you pay on the work side, from the rental to you know the storages to the the goddamn. Uh, you said you paying for a, a shop. Why are you paying for a shop? How much is that? Um, like, I think three seventy five a month. And what what is it? Is, is how many square feet is it? It's pretty big. I got I got it filled up with fucking washers and dryers and shit. So is it a uh, shop or is it like a storage unit? Like it's a storage. It's a storage unit. It's a it's a storage unit, but I, it's a shop for me because I got all, all my stuff. So, all right, so you you got that, and you got a bunch of shit. Then put down on your personal side because you running under the act, you under the table. You got your rent. I think you said was eight fifty, and your utilities yeah. and whatever the other expenses you got. Write down everything. Look and see what you grossed last month, and see where you can start cutting. First, you want to start cutting on your personal side. All right, that truck. If you can get out of that truck, you need to get out of that. You can't afford that, dog. You can't afford it. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You making twelve, thirteen thousand 13000 a month gross on the hustle side. There's expenses that are associated with that, and you have a $1,500 pickup truck, a month pickup truck. And as, as a 25-year-old, you can't afford that truck, bro. It's not a work truck. You bought that for luck. You bought that to stunt. You, hold on. Not. You bought it to no. You bought it to work and stun it on the same. And here's no, the thing. I'm you know. You know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know how I know you can't afford it. You ready? What's that? Because it's sitting. You ain't got. You ain't got a fleet. You ain't got multiple vehicles that you could. It's different when you got multiple vehicles. See, my pickup truck sit because I got other vehicles to hop in and out of. That's your one and only vehicle. If you could afford it, that truck wouldn't be sitting. If you could afford it, you wouldn't be riding a bike to work. That's why I feel like it's something you're not telling me because if it's a twin, I'm listen, you know how many cars I done bought? It's a 2021. It's 2024. It's a GM, which means it has a 60, it has a four year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper manufacturer. That's regulated. It has a four-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper, whichever comes first. It has a two- or three-year, 36,000. You're, you're still within the manufacturer warranty by years and by miles. So why is it sitting? It's not making yeah, sense but, to me. It's not, no, listen, so, it's not making sense to me. I, I feel, I feel you, man. I feel you. But if you if you could afford it, it wouldn't be sitting. Especially if it's under yeah. manufacturer warranty. So this is dang, man. Another reason why I got to sit in that gas is way 
this box truck way more cheaper than once again you just proving my point if you can afford it you wouldn't be talking about gas when i pull up to the gas station i don't look at the damn price man i, I put my car listen this is what I, let me show you what i do pimp <laughs> put the thing to the clicker i go sit my ass in the car until i hear it click i get out if you could afford it you wouldn't be talking about gas you listen you bought a listen you bought a 2500 pickup truck what do you what do you expect it's a gas guzzler you have to probably pay a gas guzzler tax if listen the reason you're giving the the re when I tell you you can't afford it, you say, well, man, it's the gas. More reasons that you can't afford it. When you can afford something, you don't complain about gas. You go buy a big, listen, you go buy a big pickup truck, you expecting to spend a lot more money on gas. I feel you. You can't afford it, bro. I'm 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 gonna figure it out, man. I've been I've been doing this All right. shit. So 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 hold on. I'm trying to help you, bro. I'm trying to help I'm you. Sure. You need you need to listen. Is is the thing really under warranty? Seriously. Yeah, be be straightforward. Right. So so bro, why don't you take it to the dealer? If, I don't know if it got forty. It's it's in between like thirty eight and forty two. So about forty forty thousand miles. I'm I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't looked at it in in, in a while. You got a fairly brand new truck and you haven't looked. <laughs> okay, even if it got 42. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even if it got 42,000. Listen, even if it has 42,000 miles on, it's a 2021, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a GM. It still has four years, 60,000. Why don't you take it? It's still under the manufacturer warrant. It hasn't even tapped into the. Did you even purchase an extended warranty when you bought it? I don't, I don't know. You don't. I, 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 you, you, I, I know it got some. I, I know it got a warranty on it because I I didn't got it fixed. Up you bought a you bought it from a free. you bought it from a Chevy dealership, right? Yeah, yeah. They they, they fixed. So it's, so times. so so hold on. Let you listen. You bought it from a Chevy dealership, right? Yeah. So it's pre-owned certified. It's only three yeah. years old. You bought it last year when it was two years old. So it's still under the four years, sixty thousand miles. It's bought. You yeah. bought it from a Chevy dealership, so it's pre-owned certified. So why is it sitting for all these months broke if it's still under warranty? Make this make sense for me, bro. It's listen, man. I just I just said I just said that just to say that bumps, bro. When whenever, whenever I parked it in there, it was cool. That's why I said it's probably just the battery. But it's no reason for me to bring it out because I'm always working. You know what I'm saying? I'm listen, always, you been, I literally I, you, you, you're missing the point. You're paying for something whether you're not driving it or, or whether it's just... Here's what I'm telling you. You yeah. need to take it to the deal. If you're telling me what you're telling me the truth, you need to take that truck to the deal. It's no sense that you got a damn brand new truck that's broke down. Some ain't adding up, bro. I got the same truck and I've never... You tell me you got a 2021. Mine is a little older than yours and I ain't had the issue. Your shit done, you done blew a transmission. You telling me it's sitting down, it's sitting right now. It's a Silverado. That thing is tough. You telling me you only got 40, 000, less than 40,000 miles up, maybe 40,000 miles on the 2021 and it's just broke down. It's something you're not telling me. If it's, if it's nothing, if it's, if it's sitting in your garage, take it to the dealership, let them fix it. It's under warranty and try to get up out of it. Try to sell it, bro. Pick up trucks. Listen. You can get rid of. You can sell it. Pickup trucks hold their value very, very, very well. Yeah. You can't afford it, bro. You listen to me. Look at me. You can't afford it. No, no. I, are you? You're not. You, you're not even you're using not, it. You're not right. telling me nothing. You're not telling me nothing that I'm already been thinking about. I've been. But right. the, the reason why, the reason why I haven't got rid of it yet, is because. I'm not sure how much, like, cause I don't want to, I don't want to sell it and still owe a whole bunch of money. So I'm like, well, fuck it. I might as well keep the, the uh, motherfucker and figure it out. So if I end up on, you know, if I end up on a whole bunch of money after I sell it, I'm like, no, nah, I might as well. Keep. So that's why I didn't kept it, kept it this. Uh, All right. This. So here, so here's the thing. You got a trailer. Still be what, for what? It. Hold on, hold on. Let, I'm trying to, you paying for the rental truck. Why don't you get the truck fixed and hustle out of the truck? 
with the trailer. That no, way you can cut sold. the. Hold on, hold on, hold on, it's sold. It's sold. hold on. Yeah. That way you can cut the cost on the rental truck. No, that, Here's that's, the, I'm really considering doing that. The reason consider. why. I have, no, ahead, the reason why I haven't did that is because. So the one of the biggest reasons that trailer I got is technically a 16 foot, but it's like six six inside and it's only seven foot wide, so it's a lot smaller. Than a, like a sixteen foot truck, you know what I'm saying? So, so what is this? It's a seven. It's a seven by sixteen. Yeah, and it's it's kind of okay. it's kind of short inside. Right. Too. So here's the thing. Oh well, you stay down till you come up. You ain't came up. You done went and did a lot of things that you shouldn't have did. I started with an avalanche. That's not even a full size bed, and I was doing studio and sometimes one bedroom apartments. Yeah. All right. So you got a seven by sixteen foot trailer that's paid for, right? You don't have a note on it, right? No, it's not paid for. I'm 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 doing um, I'm paying like what? What I'm paying? It's like three some a month. I I don't I don't, I don't know, like three twenty five or something, something like that. Why? You, what? How much was the trailer when you bought it? Shit, that's, that train was like 10 G's. Wait, you like, paid 10 G's for a 7 by 16 enclosed trailer? Yeah, it was, it was around 10 G's. If it wasn't 10, oh, it was like 8 or 9. No. It was, that's, that's about what they going for, though. Them trailer, the um, cargo trailers going for about that much. Hold on a second. Let me go. Did you, 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 bought it in, uh, you bought it in Iowa or you came over to Illinois and bought it? No, nah, it was in Iowa. You bought it from um. Hold on, let me see something. If I would have got like a flatbed or something, that would have been a lot cheaper. But the cargo trailers, them is kind of expensive. No, no, cargo trailers ain't that expensive at all. Hold on, I'm, I'm telling you, man. Man, who you, come, bro? You come on, bro. You think I wasn't looking at cargo trailers back in the day? You got a seven by sixteen enclosed cargo tray. It ain't nothing but aluminum and wood. Yeah, they and they and they and they charge and they charge for them motherfuckers. I'm telling you, it's, it, it was it was a good ten. I, I it was a good ten. I paid for it. Well, they might be higher they, now. I haven't looked in a while, but they may be higher now with inflation. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, they want some bread from the cargo trailers, man. What year? You bought it brand new. Yeah, it was brand new. Yeah. And when did you buy it? The same, like a week after I bought the truck. Okay, so here's my question to you. So what? Where is that? A twenty. So it's a 2024 seven by sixteen. Twenty three. So what made you think? What, why would? So you bought a a, a, a a you said it was twelve thousand dollars? I don't think it was I think it was like ten, bro. I don't okay. nah, it wasn't no twelve. Ten thousand dollars. So and eight and eight the ten. Silverado was sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you spent seventy thousand dollars in a week on a truck and a trailer. Basically, yeah, yeah. What made you think that like to do moves no so at that time period moving wasn't nowhere near my head bro i wasn't even thinking about no moving i was thinking about doing um um doing the, the deliveries with my boy hustling the gear gaps and doing the appliance wait 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 wait, wait 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 you bought a you bought a sixty thousand dollar 2021 chevy silverado 2500 ltz yeah. And a brand new seven by sixteen trailer to hustle and do gigs with your boy. Yeah, bro, he was sitting yeah. in work all day. Okay, day. so you could have bought you a sixteen foot box truck for eight thousand dollars, nine thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, eleven thousand dollars. I didn't have, I didn't have eight, I didn't have all that. And then I didn't know the processor, cause see, it, so this, so this round. Wait, 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 wait! You didn't have eight thousand dollars, but you had seventy. To sign for? Nah, bro, bro, they ain't even put down shit on that truck. I was put down like you, you listen, bro, 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 bro. 
Listen to what you just said, bro. I said, why you didn't go get a 16 foot boxer for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 50? Whatever. You said I didn't have that the money for that. That was nowhere in my head, bro. Like, I, I wasn't. Okay. Even, but then, you said I you didn't have the money for it. You said, listen, bro, you said you didn't have the money for it, but you took the risk on signing for a $60,000 truck. You don't have the money for that. You don't have the if you If you can't afford a 16 foot box truck for 10000 what makes you think you can afford a 16 foot trailer for 10000 and a sixty thousand dollar pickup truck. That's seventy thousand. No, I feel that you want to look not, for. That's not how I was looking at it. I'm just looking at the shit. They let me walk off the lot with it, and I can go make some money. That's how. That's how, bro. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. I would never been in this. Listen, if that truck would never broke down when it did when I first got it, this we wouldn't be having this conversation. Cause I would have still been rolling when that happened. That's bro, me back that's bullshit. Minute. That's bullshit. That's okay. bullshit. You know what? It went. It's not about rolling. It's not about rolling, bro. You you not understanding what I'm saying? You 25 now, so you was 24 then. Yeah. You wouldn't put yourself. Sixty thousand was the sticker price. All right. We don't know what your interest rate is. So you might end up spending eighty thousand for that truck. Eighty five thousand. No, what? No, it wasn't that bad. I, I I looked at it. It was like seventy two or some shit. That was that was that was how much I was gonna end up spending. How you know? You don't know what your interest rate is, bro. I, bro, I didn't look at the interest rate, but I looked at the total. Cause you can't you can't really uh like I'm looking when I be looking at the bills to tell you specifically at the top of the page the whole balance and shit. So I, I I know how, but I I don't I never really paid attention to the interest rate. I just, this is I, something I never so looked here, at. So here, here's the issue, bro. Your money is going in shit that you can't afford. You can't afford the truck or the trailer. You know how I know you can't afford I, I, the truck. I agree, hold, on, hold on, hold on. You can't afford the trailer because the trailer broke down and you can't get that fixed. You are no. I'm keeping it a buck with you. I told you yesterday that we was going to get on this call. If you could afford the trailer, it would be fixed. Mm -hmm. If you could afford the truck, it wouldn't be sitting in your garage. I don't believe it, bro. I don't believe that you got a truck that's under warranty that's sitting in the garage and you riding a bike, bro. Like, to me, that shit don't even make I'm sense, bro. Bike. Bro, I'm riding. I'm going to the bike one day. But look, I, look, I've been trying out different stuff to save money. To get a get ahead of the game a little, you bit. can't. You're not going to be able to save money, bro, because you're swimming in debt. You can't save no, when bro. you're. Uh, listen, that, listen. The debt, bro. You keep I, listen. I, I no, no, no. Them it, when I want to pay them, bro. No, you can't. No, yeah, you can't. Bro. Yeah, no, you yeah, can't. Bro, unless somebody come get me and force me to pay that shit, uh, bro. I'm I'm stack my money up first. So basically, so what you saying? Fuck the fuck the fuck Bank of America. Yeah, if it gets to that, I'm listen, man. I'm, oh, is it? Oh, is it there already? Keep it a buck. It's, it's Keep about, it a buck. It's about to get Keep there. it a buck. It's about to get there. Turn the truck. It's in, about bro. to get there. Get a truck back. Do a voluntary. Do a voluntary repo, bro. Just do. Give him the truck back, bro. Listen, man. Listen. I'm not. Give I'm him. not. I'm. I'm not too much in a hurry to do that. Cause, like I said, I'm not sure. Are you behind like, on the note? Are you behind on the note? Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. Nah, Are you bro, behind? No, nah, bro. So, dude, this, this the biggest thing, bro. This is the biggest thing I ain't did that. Like, when I tell you I bought this work, work truck, I mean it. Like, I I got dents in that motherfucker all the time. I was really running it. So, I'm saying, like, I don't I don't know how much money they even want to even give me for it, bro. So, that's what I'm saying. Bro, I'm, I'm, you're not going to get anything. It's, here's the thing, bro. It's, it's something that you're not telling me. And I'm I'm trying to pull it out of you, but you're not being truthful. Here's the thing. Listen to me. Look at me. Look at me. Nobody with a brand new truck that's under warranty and something's wrong with it is going to let it sit in their garage when it's under warranty. They're going to take it to the dealer. They're going to tow it to the dealer. And they're going to say, fix this shit because it's under warranty. No. So, the, the, see, the dang is, bro, nothing. I, listen. What? When I parked the truck in the garage, I literally got it from the dealership, bro. 
And then I went to go pick up the fucking, um, that's when I first started renting with Enterprise. So I went to go pick up a van with them and shit, ever since then, I just been in, I just been in the truck. I'm like, bro, what's the point of me driving around in this for nothing? So that's, that's why I was in the garage. There's really nothing wrong with it, bro. Like I said, the last but, time. Well, yesterday talking, you like, said it was fucked up. Now you're telling us no, nothing's wrong with it? No, well, come on, bro. It technically is fucked up because you don't want to crank up. But I'm saying it's probably just the battery. Once again. It's been, it's been sitting there a couple months. That's probably all it is, bro. Once I put it in there. That, 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 that Silver Rider, you got it got two batteries, right? You got two batteries in there, right? One on the left and no, one I, on the I, right. I, I, no, I think it's a spot for two batteries, but I think Miles only got one. I, 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 so, remember, so, I think I remember seeing that. So, so yeah. why don't you just swap the battery out and see if that corrects the problem? Yeah, yes, I'm probably, probably end up doing that. Why don't, why don't, you, jump, why don't you jump it? Why don't you jump it? Well, see, this no, is here, here. Dang, it's not a priority because I'm not going to drive it, bro. Like, I'm, all, right, all right, all right, forget the truck. Let's get to the trailer. What's the wrong, what's the wrong with the trailer? I popped the wheel, so I had a, I had a blow. You're not going, you're not going to give me the information I need for the truck. You dancing, you dancing, and I'm tired of dancing with you. Bro, so you dancing, popped the bro. wheel on the trailer. You popped the wheel on the trailer. Yeah, so I had a blowout. I was doing a delivery one day, man. It was the middle of the winter, and the fucking one of the um, tires just blew out. And my, my partner that I was uh, delivering the couches for, he pulled up on me. He brought me a spare a, a spare tire and changed it and shit. And uh, I just kept, and the fender came out. Like when it when it blew out, the fender came out. And uh, I just kept rolling like that, you know, cause uh, I didn't really want to fool with it. So I just kept rolling like that. And then one day I hit, I don't know, I, I like, I, uh, I kind of did a turn too tight, and like the uh, real wheel rubbed on like one of them little concrete poles that people put in the ground. Like it barely touched it, but I guess there was enough force to pop it off. And after after I did that, I finished doing what I was doing, and drove it to my little storage spot and just left it there ever since. Cause I just didn't. I just didn't want to, uh, I don't know, man, like stuff like that aggravate me, bro. I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be over there trying to, um, figure out how to put another wheel on there and I didn't want to pay nobody. So I just left it, I just left it over there and I was, and I was just doing stuff with my truck. But, but I'm saying, but after that, it wasn't too long before I, I started renting. So it just Am been I sitting there. This shit, bro? Am I really hearing what is, did, am I hearing this? Am I dreaming? Yeah, you what? said you the, the wheel broke and you just parked it because you didn't want to deal with it? Yeah, bro. That's that's the reason why, bro. And I didn't want to pay nobody to do it. Everything else that was wrong with the trailer, I, I was fixing all that shit so, myself. So, 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 let's, 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 let's dissect this. You got a trailer. Let me ask you this. Did the trailer break first or the pickup truck? No, the trailer broke first. But okay, now we get some, like, now we look, get I now we get was, now we getting somewhere, because you need the truck to pull the trailer. Yeah. Okay. So the trailer broke first. You dropped it off, and you say I ain't fucking with it. Yeah, that's like what happened. Yeah. You was driving the pickup truck, but since the trailer broke, and you didn't want to get it fixed, you just went and took the money that you could have got it fixed, and you went and just rented the truck. That's what you did. You rented a, a box no, truck. That's not what happened. That's not well, what happened. happened. What happened? The reason why I had to go rent the truck because when I told you I had got stuck in the blizzard, bro, I had got stuck in the fucking. Uh, I had got stuck, and that's when I went to go fucking get. Uh, that's why I started that, renting. That that's another story within itself, bro. I I yeah. I don't listen. I don't understand that. I don't. Listen. I don't know how this is possible that you listen. You are in a twenty five hundred Silverado, and you telling me you got stuck in the snow. I don't know how. I don't know how bad Chicago roads get, but these roads out here be 
country as hell, man. Bro, I, 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 I hear you, but that's why you got a 2,500. Listen, man. You throw the, that bitch, it, you throw that bitch in full high and you go. You throw that bitch in full low. You got full bro. high, full low. You got you got full high, full high, full low. You got auto, and you got two wheel. Now, don't tell me that you was in two wheel drive and you just didn't throw it in oh, full. High. There's no way you're getting stuck in the snow, bro. In a twenty five hundred. It, it wasn't right in the I, snow, bro. The whole side of the highway was covered with snow, bro. I'm like, I'm trying to tell you this. That's the best it time was, to drive. I love when it's snow outside. That's when I drive my pickup truck. I bro, it was just, snow. Listen, it was I, I, it was I, dump I, trucks with plows on it, fucking flipped over, bro. What you think you put on the front of a 2500? What you who, what you think? What you think plows the snow when you see all the parking lots and the people that got the contracts bro, and shit? You. Them be twenty five hundreds. Listen, to, bro, you talking to me, bro? But I, but I'm I'm trying to a twenty five hundred pushing bad. snow. What you think people put, bro? You know how much the you know how much you know my, how much the plow way that goes on the front end when you plowing snow, you supposed to get at least a twenty five hundred. I know some people put plows on their fifteen hundreds. You got a twenty five hundred. People plow snow with twenty five hundreds. The weight of the plow itself sitting on that front suspension, that thing is built for that, bro. Yeah. You telling me you got stuck in the snow in a 25? That's embarrassing, man. Don't tell nobody that, man. I'm going to have to edit that part out, man. I'm going to edit that I, part out. I wish I would have took pictures of that shit, man. Man, like, not, you got... That was, that, was, that was user error. That was an error on your nah. part. Don't nobody get stuck in the snow in no goddamn pickup nah, truck. No, no, twenty five hundred, bro. Bro, I'm, bro I'm what? Used to driving in bad conditions, like I was before. I was driving a, a car. I drove a concrete truck for like a year, bro. Like we was, we was always off road, fucking driving in mud and shit, bro. I know how to, I know how to fucking drive. How many feet was the snow? Like, how many feet snow was? How many feet of snow was? I don't know. I just know that shit was ridiculous. But how you get? How you fuck the truck up though, bro? Like it was like like pure white, bro, and. I end up driving. Listen, man, listen. I end up driving. I couldn't see nothing. I couldn't see nothing. And I end up driving in like a super big ass snow drift. Like it was like drifted off a hill, like downwards. And like that shit was so thick and um crazy. I bro, I'm telling you, man, that's that, that shit wasn't no joke, bro. It was like damn like an avalanche. And like what happened was the with the so this is what happened with the so the four wheel drive dug me deeper into the shit man that's what happened the because what because I couldn't see it. the four wheel drive dug me deeper into it bro was you in full high or full low probably was full low why was full low why were you in so, full low I don't know. I don't know. It was, I was in four wheel drive though. I can't remember which. So one. what you do? Just left know. the truck there and just went home. You left it like you left the, the trailer and just went home. Bro, and, like what'd you do, bro? Bro, listen. That was some of the most extreme weather I, I experienced in my life. Like look, when when I tell you, I was trying to dig out. I was trying to dig it out, and my face was like feeling like it was about to burn the fuck off in like two minutes. I swear to God, like. So what I did, I sat in the truck and I literally stood on the other side when I saw other cars and I his height, bro. Like, cause I would have fucked around and died out there, bro. Nope, look. No tow truck. Look, it was so bad that the cop, like the city told no tow trucks can tow no more. Like nobody, like you would have called the like calling the cops, that shit was dead. Nobody was coming to get get you, bro. Like it was that bad. So like I fucking had to hitchhike to a hotel, bro. Like, like, right. I'm, I'm, like that. That was no. That was no regular right, right, situation, right, right. bro. Let's get back to the trailer, man. Let's get back to the trailer. The trailer needs a wheel. Yeah, which ain't right. shit. The axle. I just need an axle, bro. I don't need a wheel. I need an axle. That shit costs so why, like two hundred dollars. So why? So why? If it's only two hundred, why you ain't fixed it? Because I don't want to deal with it, bro. I just. <laughs> Like it's, it's no reason for me to. I'm not gonna pull a trailer. All right, so check this out. Let 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 let's keep let's keep it a buck. 
I'm not even about to pull the trigger. Why fix it? Why go do all that stuff to fix it? I'm not even about you to paying a no, you paying a no on a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment when it's all said and done. You paying for a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment that's sitting. You know why it's sitting, bro? And you can tell me you can deny it all you want. You can't afford it, bro. Because if you could fix it, it would be fixed. You know why? Because that's equipment that you paying for that could be making money. That equipment could be making money. But yet, you're renting a box truck for five or six hundred dollars a week. All right. You're paying for the box truck and you got a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment that you're financing sitting because you don't want to deal with it. Yeah, man. My my main objective these last few months has just been um to make as much money as possible. So stuff like that, bro. I haven't even like I'm like, bro, I'm not about to be stressed, um, uh, you know. So basically I've been trying to cut out as many as like distractions and stuff as possible, bro. Like I, I don't like that's like shit like that really aggravate me because I'm be fucking around with that shit probably like a whole day trying to figure out how to do that. No, you wouldn't, because you would just take it to a shop and they would fix it. And you wouldn't figure nothing out. When you pay no, but the I'm, boss, I'm, I'm, boss. No, but see, <laughs> see, this the thing, bro. This the thing, bro. That money, I, that money that I would, I, I paid a, say I got to pay a shop a thousand to, to fix that, bro. That's money I can be using to keep trying to build this moving thing, man. Like, I, I just ain't got money to be drawn around like that. You know what I'm saying? You not throwing it around. You fixing the equipment that you financing. How you listen, bro? Yeah, but, listen to what I'm saying. I I, I heard enough. I heard enough. I, I don't let you talk. And the shit you saying make no sense. Nothing you saying is making any sense whatsoever. You said you don't got money to be throwing around. Exactly. I said that shit twenty minutes ago. You ain't got the money. You keep telling on yourself. I said you didn't have the money. And you just said you didn't have the money. You said I ain't got the money to be throwing around like that. If I'm in yeah, this industry, hold on, bro. You you done. You're done. If you buy equipment to make money from it so that the equipment can pay for itself, when the equipment has breakdowns, you know what you do? You get it fixed so that you can keep making money. The money that the equipment is making, you have a money a lot, you have money set to the side for when these things happen. Now there's shit that you're not telling me because it makes no sense why all this new equipment is breaking down. I got shit that's way older and I haven't had nowhere near the amount of malfunctions that you got. I got a, the same model, tr the same truck as you, a little bit older, and I ain't went through the same shit as you. My box trucks are older. Like, I don't get, like, how do you got brand, you got a brand new trailer, a brand new truck, and everything's fucking broke down. And then you say hey, you ain't is, hold bro. on, hold on, bro. And and you ain't got the money to fix it. You said I ain't got the money to be fixing this shit. That's what you just said. You yeah, said I ain't got the money to be throwing around. So you mean to tell me you got equipment that can make money, a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment that you don't want to get fixed so that it can, can pay so that it can pay itself off and the money that you pay to get it fixed, it'll recoup that money once you get it working. You right, rather continue to go hold on. No, you're done. You better continue to go give Enterprise your money. Yeah, because I like the equipment more, man, and it's more capable for what. So what I'm doing now, that it was cool when I was running the gigs and I was delivering for my boy, and I was doing all the other stuff I was doing. But I'm saying, for, specifically for moving, that shit not really gonna work like that because I'm not gonna be able to do the jobs I'm doing right now. And that's the reason. That's the reason why I'm not using. It's like I'm not. It's not even. I'm gonna have to get a whole nother trailer to even do the, the shit I'm doing. Why you bad, I'm not bro? Gonna be, I'm not gonna be able to do two, three bedrooms no more with that, with, with that, with that truck, man. Why you bad, bro? Why you bad? That's a decision you made. You know why you jumped out the window? I wish I could have been in your head at that time to to fully understand what made you go out and buy a seventy thousand dollar pickup truck and a twelve thousand dollar trailer at twenty four years old. Who do you thought you? Who you thought you were? You ain't even got a, you under the act. Listen, you under the tape, you under the act, man. You don't have a real business. You don't have an LLC, a corporation. You don't have, you're under the table. 
You were doing fine the way you were. You went out and you bought equipment like an established business. People who go out and spend that type of money on equipment are businesses that are established already. You won't even have an established business. You out here, and then you got a storage unit where you got equipment. You got, you paying rent on that. You paying two parking spaces. You paying a note for the cargo van. You paying a note for the for the pickup truck. You, you renting, hold on. You're renting a truck from Enterprise. You have too many expenses that you can't afford, bro. So this the thing, you, right? I totally understand what you're saying. So let's let me let's let me explain my reason behind all this. Man. Go ahead, so man. look. So I'm basically so so far, man, I done basically did fifteen dollars in the last couple months. Basically not really like advertising the business or nothing. Like all the jobs I'm getting, bro, is either coming off of my Google My Business page without running no ads, running uh, moving helper, thumbtack. Um, and post off of my primarily off my social media off of Facebook and next door, right? That's pretty much where all my business come from and it's basically free, right? And I don't I don't have to do nothing. That shit just come. So I'm basically making a damn near guaranteed five hundred a day and having pretty much like half of the month to do other shit. So with the with the with the with the storage unit that I call my shop that I got all, you know, all the inventory in that I'll be selling. Cause I did a delivery. I did a couple of deliveries today, but so my, my, my philosophy is if I can, if I can just make another 500 doing that shit, I'm good. Even if I only make, even if I only sell like one, um, uh, one machine a day, that's still 750. And that's going to put me in a whole different. What does that got to do with what we talking about? What that got to no, do with that, it? No, what that bro, got to no, do bro, with that? That ain't got shit to do with nothing. Yeah. No, no, it that, don't. No, that's gonna put me in a whole different thing, bro. That's no, gonna, bro. If bro, if bro, once I get to the twenty thousands, did we not, bro? I'm that's not how you be, looking I'm at it. Be. Once I get to the twenty thousands, that's how you look I, at absolutely, it. Absolutely, that's how. Absolutely. That's how you. Absolutely. That's how you. You uh um. Bro, who you talk? Who you think bro. you talking to? Uh, listen to me, man. I didn't. I look. Listen, man. I didn't, I didn't figure this shit out, bro. I had many a times where I felt like, bro, this shit was done, bro. Like once, the, once, once that, once I bought that truck and the transmission fucking blew, bro. I was still out here hustling, man. My my main partner I was doing the moving with, I had him dragging around the trailer. I was paying him half for the jobs. I'm like, hey, man, until I get my truck back. You pull you you drag the trailer to the job. I you man, I, I was still still doing shit, man. I was fucking catching Uber to jobs and shit, cause I was like doing like just gig outs, bro. Like so, you ever heard of Angie Services? So I was like yeah. doing handyman work on there. Like I was just like so. I I, I always figured it out, bro. A lot of this, a lot of shit that didn't happen. You know, a lot of people just said fuck it and and gave up on, on that shit. Like and then again, like when I got stuck I'm in a, that blizzard, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you say a little sad story for the sentiment reasons, because it's making you feel better. It's probably it's two people nah. I see in the chat that you 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 winning them over. But I'm I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you continue your little sentiment story. Go ahead. I'm listening. Listen, man. Listen. I I get what you, I get what you be saying as far as on how. You know, you, you, you be telling people how to do shit the right way, but if you don't know a right way, you just gotta figure some shit out. And that's what I've been doing this whole time. I've been learning I've been learning as I go. Like I I I, I don't know, man. I don't know. So you don't watch the live stream. So when you told me you watch the live streams, you lied to me. I did no, a whole I, live I mean, stream. I threw shots at the, the figuring the shit out this morning and yesterday. Even in the Discord. So if you say you watch me and I stomp on people's heads that say they just figuring shit out, why would you come up here and say I'm just figuring this shit out? If you watch me, how are you doing shit the wrong way? But you got to understand, bro. Once once I got into just hustling and trying to figure shit out, bro, I was already in a fucked up position. So this whole time I just been... Basically on the Bro, hamster wheel, trying to you, fuck you. You don't you don't watch no. shit that I say. You you just come no. and listen, you listen. listen. I man. see you in the Discord. 
You just be sitting there. You don't be paying attention. No, nah, but 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 I'm saying once you are already once you are already in a hole, it's hard to dig dig out of it. Cause you you gotta look. Once I started hustling, it was because it was because my job. So like I was like I told you, I was driving a concrete truck, right? And with with that with that industry, once it gets slow, dude, you got like fucking three to five shit, four to five months to really think about your life. You know what I'm saying? So that's what brought me into this because you know what I'm saying? You fucking working four hours a week and shit like that, bro. Real quick, you like, damn, bro, I gotta make I gotta make something happen. So so I got into this whole thing from that aspect, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I just had to go make some fucking money. So when I be when I so when I say when I say, bro, I I just been uh you know figuring out learning on the way. I really mean that shit, man. I I ain't, I ain't out here just bullshitting, man. You know, now I did fuck. Now <laughs> the biggest thing I I fucked up on was when I when I when I bought that civil router. I should never bought that, man. But I was thinking, I was thinking like. Oh shit! I'm doing all this in this F-150. I get a, go get a bigger truck, then I can go start doing a lot more bigger shit. And I, I don't want, I ain't gonna have to really hustle as hard. Cause I was, I, like, I was literally doing like 16, 20 hour days, like constantly, man. Like I was, you know, and I haven't, I haven't. Come on, uh, come, come, seen, come on, keep going. Make me feel sorry. Come on, keep going. I'm listening. No, I'm, I hear I'm you. Not, no, I'm I'm not. You, it, uh, I'm come not, on, come I'm on not, with it. Come, keep coming. I'm, I don't feel I'm, sorry yet, but keep coming. That that's not that. I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to explain why. I'm trying to explain why. Um, you know, I, I hey. you know, what's that? Ain't no excuses for that shit. No, Somebody said he's doing the best he can. See shit like that. Oh. Saying shit like that is what. Is going to continue to make him continue to do things he's doing. All right, and not and, and and not holding him accountable for those ill-advised decisions. Those were don't listen. Mistakes is mistakes. The decisions that he made were horrendous. This man is a a hundred thousand dollars in debt. This man had a pickup hey, truck that was hold on. This man had a pickup truck that was making him money. He decided to jump out the window. Ain't no, what, what you mean? Uh, he's doing the best he can. He made these decisions. He was doing perfectly fine. This goes back to what I was talking about yesterday. People make money and they start spending more money. You make money, you spend more money. You make a little money, you think you somebody, you go live above and, uh, above and beyond your means. Everything that I talked about in the live stream yesterday, here's a great example of it. He made thirteen thousand dollars, and he thought that that was, he thought thirteen thousand dollars gross in a month warranted him to go out and spend a hundred fucking thousand dollars. Now tell me, how is that doing the best he can? See, well, this, thirteen thousand dollars. He goes out and spends a hundred thousand dollars on a bro, fucking that, that, pickup truck. And hold on, and a fucking pickup truck and a trailer, and that's doing the best he can. He's doing the best he can. Bro. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't hold on. That's the problem. That's why so many people are failing. I'm not going to sit here and pacify him. Now he got to get held accountable. The problem got to get corrected. I'm not finna sit up here and. Coddle this, but coddle him. Oh, he, you're doing the best you can. It's gonna be okay. No, you're not. You're gonna fail. You on your way to failing. Nah, listen to me. Fail, listen to me. Hold on. Check this out. You know why? Bro. You know why? <laughs> that shit don't listen. Everything you said, it tells the tale. You can't afford it, bro. You can't afford the truck. You hold on. You can't afford the trailer. A two hundred dollar fix, and you telling me you don't want to deal with it, and that's equipment that could be making money. Listen. You could still be running the pickup truck, and you just said your guy was running the 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 the, the, the pickup truck and, and the trailer, or you could be he could be running the goddamn box truck, and you could be running the pickup truck and the trailer. Here's the thing: there's equipment right there that could be making money. You just said it on the Discord the other day. You got people calling you, and you can't even take all the moves. You got two pieces of equipment where you can increase your footprint. 
Absolutely. Well, man, all these people, hold on. All these people calling me, I can only do so much. So you got two pieces of equipment. You got a rental truck and you got equipment over here. So that good, you're, you can increase your footprint and you can, hold on, you can make more money. If you could get the damn truck fit, hold on. If you could get the truck fixed, you telling me the damn wheel is popped off on the goddamn trailer and it's just sitting there and you paying a note on it, a brand new 2023 trailer. And it's just sitting there because you don't want to get the wheel fixed because you said you just don't feel like dealing with it. But you rather continue to enrich enterprise and give them the money every single week. And you pay a 29 cent amount for a 15 foot truck. You pay a 29 cent amount for a 15 foot. You pay 19 cent more amount than what you should be paying for that truck. So they are you already overpaying on the miles on that. And you sitting up here telling me you don't know where the money is at. And then this person want to sit up and tell me he's trying. How is he trying when he don't even, he said earlier in this live, all he cared about was the money coming in. He didn't care about the money coming out. Tell me how is that just trying? Tell me how is that trying? Tell me how is that trying? It's not trying. Go ahead, make me feel sorry for you. Nah, I, we, we ain't doing that, bro. We, 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 ain't, we ain't doing that. All I know is I'm gonna get this money. That's all I gotta say. Shit. What's your plan to get out of debt? Make more money. That's that's the only thing you can do, right? What about I'm correcting about, the what about, about correcting the issues? How listen, what are you gonna do with this equipment? You still ain't answered the question. What I'm gonna do with the equipment. Once I once mm -hmm. once I once I get once I get a decent amount of money put up, then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the pickup truck. Well, I'ma put I'm gonna put a driver. Hold on, hold on. on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you don't have no money. You having a cash flow problem. Yeah, something like that, but I'm saying stop, like, stop, all stop, the money, stop, 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 all, stop, stop, all my extra money, stop, I be stop, 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 you have a cash flow problem, right? Well, that's not, that's not necessarily where I'm getting at. No, it ain't, do you want me to help you or you, you want to just continue to figure this shit out as you go? And now I can just get somebody else up here, bro. Every time you ask me for advice, what I do? What's that? Every time you ask me for advice, what do I do? Didn't we have a long conversation Saturday? Yeah. Didn't yeah. I tell you how to... Okay, about moving, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you ask me questions on ways to make money and increase your sales and i give you the, the the gems on how to sell yourself when you get people on the phone to, to book moves and increase your visibility and things of that nature you ask me those questions right mm -hmm. but when i dig into you to find out and get the information to correct the behavior on why you making the money but you ain't got no money. You just I just asked you earlier. I told you you didn't have the money. And you just sit up here and said, I gotta save the money. I gotta get some money. Which means you don't have the money. You dancing. You have a cash flow problem. Why? Because you have more money going out than you have coming in. So I, I see. I just don't feel like I'm making. I'm I'm making enough to really get to where I need to get to. So that that's all I'm saying, bro. Like I'm I'm bro. I, I didn't spend more money than I made. I just ain't making make enough to really fucking start you know doing why? what I wanted. You know why? Because you put yourself in this debt 
by spending all this money on shit that you didn't need, scaling, trying to scale way before you had you had a pickup truck that was making you money that was paid for. You yeah. start well, you said this yourself. Well, I was making thirteen, fourteen thousand a month. So man, I figured it was gonna pay for itself. You made thirteen thousand. You said I made thirteen, fourteen thousand. What the fuck is thirteen to fourteen thousand? That ain't shit. It's definitely not man. enough money. Hold on. Well, dude, hustling, that's a lot of money, man. I was I wasn't paying no payroll, none of that. All right, so hustling. Yeah. So why why would you go out and spend that much money? Bro, what what's fucking well, like you act like I'm paying taxes and all this, bro. Like that's you can't afford that it. Money you can't afford it, bro. You can't afford it. This I'm telling you why you don't have no money, bro. You're not listening. You dancing, and you got people in the chat that's pampering your ass. You can't afford that shit, bro. You no, can't. I agree. Right, right, right now, no, nah, no, nah, I can't afford it. all. Of, you know, that's why. That's why I'm trying to cut. That's why I'm trying to cut stuff until I can. You know, until I get. Till I get it up to where I can afford the shit. Not to mention, like, not to mention, and here's the thing, not to mention you got rent, you still gotta pay yourself because you got living expenses. Yeah. See, this is where the people in the chat is trying to coddle you don't understand. This is why you don't have any money. This is why you going out working and you don't have any money. You still gotta live. This is why people in the chat calling you and shit don't even know what the fuck they talking about. He's paying for it. He's trying. Man, let, when it's time to pay that $1,500 a month, let, put your number in the chat so he can get you to pay for it. When it's time to pay his rent, help him out. Since you want to coddle him, help him out. Put What's your cash app, pimp? What's your cash app? Put your cash app. Put your cash app in the chat. We ain't gotta do all that, man. I, 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 I'm, look, man. I can guarantee you. I guarantee you. In a little bit, I'm about to have all this shit figured out. And that's it's just really all I gotta say, man. I, you know. what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. All that excess shit that you got that you can't afford, you need to figure out how you can get rid of it. I'm not saying do a voluntary repo. I'm not saying stop paying the note. If it's fixable because it's still under warranty, which it should be still be under warranty, I would take it to the dealership. Look at me. Do you want my advice? You got equipment right there that you're paying for. Take that shit to the dealership. If you're telling me the truth, get that shit fixed. Put the wheel on that damn trailer since it's only $200. So you say to fix it. Spend the two hundred dollars to get it fixed. Use that. E Hold on. Look at me. Use that equipment that you got that you paying for to make money. Get rid of the enterprise truck. Get rid of the enterprise truck. You paying five hundred dollars a week for the enterprise truck. That's two thousand dollars a month. You paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for the listen. You paying fifteen hundred dollars a month for the pickup truck. You spending another three four hundred dollars on the insurance. You paying another three something for a storage unit. You paying for two parking spaces. You paying eight fifty a month for rent. You paying utilities. You paying fuel to put in there. You paying a hundred, two hundred dollars a day for labor. Plus all the other expenses you got, material, mileage. You paying twenty nine cent a mile for a fifteen foot truck. That's unheard of. No, nah, but I, my rate I heard of too. The the fucking I'm only paying even, 225. How's your rate unheard of? Listen, listen. You keep saying every time I give you something, you try to dance around and try to justify it. There's no justification for that. Every listen to me. Everything that you've done from acquiring a truck to the way you acquired a truck to the reason why you acquired the truck was just bad business decisions. You don't even know what your APR is. You never even had an, a, a conversation with the salesperson or the finance manager. You never even probably attempt. You didn't attempt to negotiate. You didn't even have the understanding to even inquire what was the APR. You just said, OK, you let them bring you a truck and you said, I'll take it. Your business acumen has to increase. 
Your level of situational awareness when you're out taking care of business has to increase. You need to understand when people are taking advantage of you. You went in there, you purchased that with no understanding of what you're doing. You invested into something that you understand. You didn't even negotiate. You just accepted the terms and you rolled off with it. This rental truck, you watch all my content. You saying you paying 29 cents for a 15 foot truck, 29 cents a mile. That's unheard of. It's people out here paying half of that in a 26 footer listening to me and, and, and telling them how to negotiate. Why are you looking around? You ain't in Chicago. That's how we look around when we sitting in the car. You and I, where ain't nobody going to get you. That's you. That's how we do. You and I, well, boy, you straight. They be, they be having tweakers on. They, they ain't lurking. Oh, you parked though, ain't you? Yeah, motherfuckers be walking up to your shit. Doing weird and shit. Man, you, 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 you. Listen, bro, listen. Listen. Cut your cost, bro. Get that truck fixed. I hope you're telling me the truth. Take that shit to the dealership. Get it fixed. You said it's a $200 fix for the trailer? Get it fixed. Run that shit. You paying two thousand dollars a month on that shit. Let that shit pay for itself. Yeah. Where's the I, I, where's I the where's the four? Where's the four that? Did you trade it in when you got the Silverado? Yeah, yeah. The dealership took it. Out. What they give you on the trade in for it? Uh, I was positive whenever I traded it in. It what did much. they was... give you on the trade in for it? Fucking, I don't know, like twelve thousand. What year was it? Twenty fifteen. So you got rid of a paid off twenty fifteen F one fifty to get a sixty seventy thousand dollar twenty twenty one. Yeah, but my reasoning was for other shit. It wasn't. I I, I feel you though. Go watch the live stream from yesterday, bro. Yeah, cause like when 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 I was buying that truck, I really wanted to get a box truck, but I didn't have money to just go buy a box truck in cash. Wait a minute, hold on. I just no, said listen, that listen. I, I would go. I said, why are you just go get I, a box truck? I know, I, I I know, but but listen, listen. I knew I knew with the pickup truck, I can do everything in my personal name. Shit was gonna be cheap and all that. I didn't know. I I didn't. I wasn't really too sure. I'm like, see, if I go get a box truck, that's gonna be all commercial shit. Then I'm what riding are you around talking the box about? truck all day. Stop, stop, no. you, bro, stop. And then I'm like, I'm gonna have to have two vehicles. That's why I didn't get the box truck, bro. I'm like, with the pickup truck, I can do everything I can do with the fucking box truck. So that's why I what got you, it. What you what you said just made absolutely no sense whatsoever. I'm, it, it make perfect. Look, look, listen. I be hearing people talking about they paying two thousand dollars a month in insurance and fucking. All these, all this crazy shit for the monthly payment for a box truck. That's why. That's why listen that what you saying, bro. You saying it was cheaper for you to go buy a sixty thousand dollar, yeah, pickup truck. Yeah, I, I, I was, then a ten thousand, then, 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 then a, then a, then a, then a, then a ten thousand dollar box truck. You, 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 go, you got a sixty dollars. You ain't got sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, but that, that's not what they wanted. They. they, they I, I see what you're saying, but in, no, you don't. In, in real, in, in real I, I'm life, trying to get you to understand what I'm saying, but you ain't understanding. No, and it's simple. No, but like in 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 a real life, bro. If a motherfucker giving you giving you some shit, they telling you gotta put two thousand down. Stop. Versus stop. Versus, versus having stop. to put stop. Versus stop. having to pay two thousand. Stop. Stop. They ain't giving you shit, bro. You paying for it. $60,000 plus whatever your APR is. And we don't know. You probably going to spend spending $70,000, $80,000 for that truck. They motherfucker ain't gave you shit, bro. But I'm saying the projection for it, you going to pay that back. They no let time. you get it. Hold on. They, hey, man, they let you get it up front for nothing, bro. That's a, listen. Man, you. Read, nigga. Read. Ah! Y'all killing me with this That's stupid. Use your common sense. That's stupid. That's stupid. 
Use your common sense. I, I, I feel you though, man. Listen, man. You got to listen. I, I, listen. No, you listen. You had a truck that was already making you money that was paid for. You still don't get it. You probably like, why is he harping on this? Why is he harping on this? Because you don't get it. So if you don't get it, that means you'll make the same mistake again. You say, oh, all I care about is the money coming in. All I got to do is make more money. Bro, what? what? Man, if you would have told me this shit yesterday, bro. But that's 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 not that's not why I'm at with it. Now. I told you, bro. I I didn't I done made I done made a big shift recently, far as how I'm, how I'm really gonna be doing this. I'm treating it more. Listen, man. I I I just been hustling for like, for like a year now, man. But now I'm starting to see, nah, bro. It ain't about just make it. You really gotta see what you're doing. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I was I was just stuck like on the wheel, just making fucking money, spending money. But now I see you gotta really pay attention to what you're doing, you know. But you really gotta you see you really gotta pay attention to what you're doing, bro. Yeah. You just out here making listen. You out here just going willy nilly. Now here's the thing. Yeah, bro. To the, to the, hold on. Chaotic. Check this out to all the motherfuckers that be. Out. Check this out to all the motherfuckers. Oh man, buddy, ass. Yeah, so I ain't listening to them. I'm just finna get out here and fill this shit out the way. Here you go. This is but prime it, it, example. It, it, it wasn't like this that. Prime though, was, example. Forced, yeah, it is because you weren't was forced, forced to do shit. It, no, you weren't. That's how, bro. It, bro it was. It was. It was. It, it was either get that unemployment or try to go make some motherfucking money. And that's bro, what it was, you bro. already were making money in the F one fifty. No, man, to... I'm talking about before that. I'm talking about before that, man. Because the reason, right, the reason why I'm right, hustling in my F-150. You ain't getting it, bro. You ain't getting it, bro. You ain't getting it. I, I, I'm, I'm just speaking to a, a, a brick wall, bro. I'm speaking to Listen, person. man, I, 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 agree. With, I agree with you. I should have kept the F-150. That's not. I'm not debating. I'm just saying. At, th at this point, that shit already done, man. I got to deal with the fuck. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. You know what, what, what happened? What, what, what we gonna do to fix it? What we gonna do to fix it? Shit. How we gonna fix it? Ah, uh, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm projecting twenty k for next month. That's what to at least twenty k, man. How, how we gonna get there? How we gonna and, get there? Uh, first I need to keep track of my expenses. That is that. That's the main thing. That's the fucking main. I need to keep tracking what I'm making, but I also need to make sure see what the fuck I'm spending, and start cutting costs on unnecessary shit. Right. Um, and just start um working a little bit more harder, you know, because like I said last year. When I, you know, when I was really going crazy, you know, I was doing them 16, 20 hour days and shit like that. Uh, I haven't, I haven't sniffed that shit, you know, well, I, I've been do I, I do a lot of 16 hour, but I ain't sniffed no 20 hour fucking day for like a year now. But I'm saying like, if I really lock in, there's really, you know, uh, that's really dedicated. Uh, really, really, if I really a month, if I lock in for a month, bro, I'll turn this shit all the way around. And that's that's really what I'm saying. If I can, if I can make more money, and either maintain my expenses or spend less, then I'm not. We're not gonna be. We're not gonna be doing this no more, man. I'm not gonna be in this situation. You feel what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying. And 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 at that point. I'm not gonna be so fucking stressed out. You still don't get it, bro. Think you still you still don't get it. Okay, well what I'm not getting. The mistakes that you made, you gotta live up to them mistakes. I would get the truck fixed. I would get the trailer fixed. I would give the box truck back. Right? 
that two thousand dollars a month that you're spending on the, the 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 pickup truck is fifteen. You're spending another three hundred and some month on the insurance. That's eighteen, and you're spending another three hundred and some month on a note for the trailer. You're spending over two thousand dollars a month, about twenty one hundred dollars a month on those two pieces of equipment. You got insurance on the trailer? Nope. No, no, nope. So you don't even have insurance on the trailer. So God forbid if it detaches while you're driving or someone runs into the back of the trailer while you got it hooked up, you paying a note on it and you don't even have insurance on it. You know why you don't have insurance on it? Tell me why you don't have insurance on the trailer. Because you should have insurance on the trailer because you're financing it. You don't even own it. Yeah. Why don't you have insurance on the trailer? I don't know. I just, I just, I just thought I didn't, I didn't really need insurance on that. Where's the Mindy person that that was vouching for you earlier? Can somebody come help this guy? Listen, why don't you think you need insurance on a trailer that's brand new that you're still financing that you don't own? That's a motor. It's a it's a motor. It's can still considered a motor vehicle. It has a plate, right? You have a plate on it. It's registered, right? Does it have an Iowa pl yeah. a plate? I got a Tennessee plate. You got a Tennessee plate? Yeah. It's registered? Yeah, it's registered, yeah. Is the pl is the plates up to date? Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you have insurance on it? I don't know. I just don't, I, I, I didn't I didn't even know fuck um insurance on the trailer was the thing. I don't I didn't know, bro. So what happens like, if somebody you can get insurance too progressive for the trailer. My dump but, trailer, but, when I had my dump not, trailer, so, I had insurance on it. No, I, 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 I had, feel, I feel Why you, would but, you get insurance? So, so they told me, they told me if something happened, if somebody hit you with some shit, that would be the same things they hit in your truck. Bro, did nobody tell you that shit. That's a goddamn lie. Who told that's, you that that's shit? What the, that's what the... Um, uh, that's a goddamn lie. Thing. That's a lie. Yeah. It's a lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's I'm a just, lie. I'm just telling you, man. Ain't happened, nobody they, told you that shit. They they say it's considered one unit. No, it's, it's not. It's no, it's not. No, it's not. You can get insurance on that trailer. It's a separate entity. You take it off. You put it on. It has its. Hold on. It has its own plate. I've had insurance on the trailer before. Yeah, but everything then, cause like I'd have had a whole bunch of shit that that I had Bro. to fix on it, cause. They 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 finessed me on the trailer too. Like I had to fucking the door came off, man. I had to put a new door in that shit. Like a lot of like the the trimmings on the inside, like just a whole bunch of little dumbass shit. Like the blowout I was telling you about. Like I go So that's why I didn't get insurance on. I'm like, bro, something happened with it, you just just fix the shit. It's not like it's like hella mechanical. I you know, I had to put you know, put a put a wheel on it myself. Like it ain't really you know, so that's why that's why I got insurance. I'm like, what's the point? Oh, all right, bro. What's the point? Hey, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What's the point? What well, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, okay. No, I'm I'm I'm, re I'm really considering. I already know. Uh, I already know. I heard it though. What's the point? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know what to tell you, man. Nah, man. I'm, 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 I might give Enterprise their truck back on the first and just start running my truck again next month. I'm trying to give you the information you need to win and you just combating me so I don't know man at this point I just wish you the best I wish you the best bro for sure you ain't getting it bro you ain't getting it well that's, that's what you said right you said I need I need to run my truck again right if I'm gonna keep it you should be running it now no, I, I don't trust, man. Listen, man. I don't trust. I, 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 right, right now, my bread ain't where it needs to be to be taking on another, that liability to have somebody be driving around on my shit. No, you need to be driving. You need to be driving it. 
Yeah, but it's going to be them driving my truck or they're going to be driving the Enterprise truck. You don't need to be running two trucks. You can't afford it. You need to drive the equipment that you paying the high ass known on and the trailer that you paying a known on that it don't make sense why you doing that either. When you like you need to be using that equipment so that equipment can bring in income so that it can pay for itself. Right? Yeah. You ain't in a position where you can be running a rental truck and a box truck. You don't even have insurance on the trailer, fam. Like, like you are running your whatever it is that you got going on like a, a man-man. You like a man-man that got a PPP that's running on his last straw, on his last limb. You like a, a, a man-man, like, PPP man man that's running on like how when everything started to go downhill in 2022 and you just start hearing crazy stories about trucks caught on fire freight being found on the side of the road uh all this type of weird shit that's what you doing right now yeah yeah you like a man man trucker business guy like, it's just not even making sense. I said, well, why you ain't got tra insurance on the trailer? You said, man, it just don't even make no sense to have it. What? That don't make no sense. That was like, you ain't did nothing. Hey, bro. I don't know, bro. You need to figure it out, bro. You ain't listening to nothing I said. Get rid of that, get rid of that box truck. Get your shit fixed. Take your shit to the dealership and work out of that truck, man. Let that truck pay for itself. Don't even think about renting a truck. Run your bread up. You work the shit out of that truck and let it pay for itself. Try to pay that truck off sooner than later. If you want to keep it, try to double up on it as much as you can and work it. I don't want to hear shit about, well, you know, that 16-foot trailer, the box truck is better. Well, you know what? Guess what? That's the decision you made when you bought a 7 by 16 foot enclosed trailer thinking you was going the cheaper route. With the money that you paying for all that shit, you could have went and got you 10 box trucks. You could have went and got you 10 box trucks. I can take you somewhere where you can get 16 footers for about $10,000. You're going to end up spending $100,000 for that truck and that trailer combined. You could have went and got you 10 box trucks. Yeah, but uh, I totally hear what you're saying, bro. But some people buy buy stuff like that and they not making no money with it. People got scat packs and Hellcats and shit. She's like, what's that got to do with you? Know, it? You ain't making no money neither. No, nah, no, nah, I was, bro. I was. Look, look listen. The only reason was why was and reason why not I, was and now it's two different truck, things. Only reason why I parked the truck because I like the box truck better, bro. Like, all right. So this, this, this another reason. So when I when I was pulling over the trailer in the truck, people was looking at me kind of weird sometimes. Like the first. So when I had my homie. So he had a he got a Tahoe, right? This one, this one, this one when I this one the transmission was fucked up on my truck. When we pulled up to that, we pulled up to the first job with the Tahoe in that trailer. The, the the customer, once we got in there, she asked me, "Did we have insurance and shit?" Of course, I told her, "Yeah," but it's just like shit like that. Nobody nobody since then has asked me for insurance. Every time I pull over the box truck, so and then it's just it's just a uh. uh you know, the fact, the maneuverability, too. I done got myself in so many fucked up situations with that trailer, man. I'm talking about, man. You what know, they got to do with anything? That shit you just told me, what they got to do? I'll let you finish. No, but I that, know what, that's what the they reason got why I was paying anything. extra bread for the box truck. But now I see, bro, this is just an extra expense that I... I that I really can't be doing, bro. I'm going to have to Here's the thing. You, you missing the point. You making excuses. You bought that pickup truck and you bought that trailer. Yeah. You bought yeah. that shit. You made, you know why you bought that shit, that dumbass shit, and spent all that dumbass money? Because you didn't do nothing that I tell people to do. You did the complete opposite. You are a living prime example of everything that yesterday's live stream was about. Okay. So to everybody that thinks feeling their way through things is uh the way to go here's feeling your way through things if you would have did a business plan if you would have followed my blueprint 
you went and went and spent a hundred thousand dollars on a pickup truck and a and an enclosed trailer. I say it all the time on live streams. It's hard maneuvering enclosed trailers. Yes, they're more cheaper, but you went out and you bought a seventy thousand dollar pickup truck when you already had a pickup truck that was paid for. A hundred thousand dollars combined is what you're gonna end up paying. You could have went and bought you 10 16 foot box trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel you, man. It's done now, though. See, I'm gonna I'm figure it out. See, I, you would, you know, I, you, you, you would, you would have, you would have known that. Course. You would have known that. Check this out. You would have known that if you would have did the business plan. You would have did the research like I talk about. If you would have understood what you was investing in. Everything that I talk about that people think is just, I ain't doing that. I'm going to get out here. Keep doing that shit. I'm going to keep doing this shit. No, nah, but I'm a, so I, I started watching uh, you. I started watching you like a couple months after I bought that shit. I, I only been watching you since like the uh, fall of last year. That's, so that's why I was telling you, I have been watching you for no two years, bro. I've been watching you since like the fall of last year. I'm going to go back and get the live stream when you came up earlier this year on the call-in show when you said, man, I've been watching you since you had less than a thousand subscribers. I know no, I you, definitely I say that. Yeah, you did. Absolutely. When I started watching I'm go back. you, you had, I'm a, how many you got now? 31,000? Yeah, you probably had like 20 I'm, when I started watching you, bro. All right. You want to make a bet? Because I remember watching you. You was uh. You want, so you, you didn't tell me you've been watching me since the beginning. You willing to bet on that? I'm. I'm, I'm you hey, want to bet? Guarantee it, man. Matter of fact, do you want to bet? When did Rob though? come on the show? When did Rob come on the show? Because that's around when I first started watching you. Rob came on the show, I believe, last year. Yeah, that's around. Yeah. Yeah, when, when when I watched that, that was like one. Uh, that wasn't the first one, but it was like it was around that time because I I remember him. So it, bro, it was it was it was fall last year when I started watching. I've been watching you for. Uh, hey man, shit, pushing a year now. So it's it's it's, it's been what like nine months, maybe some shit like that. I'm upset with you, bro. I'm upset with you, man. I feel you, man. I feel you. You're doing everything all wrong, bro. Do better. I will, man. I'm you, 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 you. I'm about you to cut. Everything. I'm about to okay. cut the cost. Probably a good five G's next month. I promise. I don't see how you're going to do that. When I get Enterprise, they shit back. That's, that's going to be half of the five G's right there. You got to get your shit fixed first, bro. It ain't nothing wrong with my shit, bro. Well, why is well, it not? The, the only thing, the only that, well, it's only something wrong with my trailer. I, but that ain't shit, bro. The, the fucking, the part I need for the trailer ain't nothing. I just need the axle. And I already, I already looked up, looked that shit up. But I'm saying, I just, I just didn't fool with it because I'm like, bro, what's the, I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm not about to fix this shit and it's just gonna be parked here anyway like i'm not about to even it's it, it really it really really didn't serve a purpose for what i'm doing because i because uh soon as i soon as i went go get this truck then I, that's when i started doing all the bigger moves and all that stuff you know and i can't pull up in good faith with with that trailer and try to move a two-bedroom that's <laughs> You know, unless they don't got nothing. But, but, but here's the thing, bro. You can only do what you can do. I always say it. Start with what you have. And with, with, with whatever you have, use that. And then work your way up. You you are not a big dog. You want to be a big dog. You going out doing and purchasing shit that big dogs purchase. But you ain't got big dog money. If you got equipment that can only allow you to do up to a one bedroom, then work with what you have, bro. But see, that's the thing, bro. I'm gonna be cutting out on so many. Like that's probably half, 
at least half of the jobs I do. Bro, so, right, right, right. That's, I don't want to hear it, bro. You don't listen. You can only do what you can do. You can only do what you can do. You don't have it, bro. See, look yeah. at me. I'm gonna be the person to tell. Listen, you you don't have it. When I first started, I had a a, a pickup truck, not even with a full size bed. It was only I, I could only do what I could do, and I did a hell of a lot with that. I didn't yeah. go above and beyond my means. I was transparent on my ads. I did what I can do, and I did great at that. I wasn't looking to do three bedrooms in the back of a pickup truck, two bedrooms, not even one bedrooms. I used it to do what I could do with it until I could do something better. You shouldn't, like, the reason why you, listen, that's the whole reason why you're in the situation that you're in now. Yeah. The last thing I did yesterday, you are a, 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 a perfect example of it. You make a little bit mo of money, you want to go spend it. You make a little bit more, you go spend it. The more money you make, the more money you spend. And that's 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 when people that are starting a business or you know working their way to start a business, when you start doing that's like that's why people fail. Not only do you not have a business plan, you don't even have a sense of direction when it comes to business. Goes back to what I always say. You understand business, you should succeed. You don't understand business, you're not trying to educate yourself on business. The shit that you said throughout this last three, well, I only counted the money coming in. I ain't think about counting the money that was going out. You don't got insurance on the the trailer, you said, I don't even understand why I need insurance on the trailer. It just don't make no sense to me. Wow, wow. Like, you sent a bunch of shit that a business owner wouldn't even say. They would be embarrassed. They would be, a, they would, uh, they would, no, ain't no feeling. If you want to succeed, these are things that, these are behaviors that you got to correct. Yeah. All right. See, do, I, do, do, do. I look at it like this. I look at it like this. I know a lot of people. They know all the all that business stuff. They know all the terminology, but they ain't making no money, man. Like, it's, it's, what does that, what does that so got that, to do with anything? What does no, that? No, it's, it, it got a lot. You ain't make, you people. ain't making no money. You ain't making no money. Man, listen, man. It's people. It's people that's literally out here. They just hey, man, keep think. Listen, keep listen thinking about that's ignorant. Listen. That's an ignorant. No, you can't. You young it's, enough it's to be my that, listen, that, listen, that listen. Listen, listen, listen. 10, 15 years and still ain't Listen, listen. What does that got to do with anything? No, what, I, the, what I'm trying to what, say, what man, that got to do I, with I, done, I done really, I done really been in the field. I really didn't got out here and did this shit. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I, what I, that I, mean? I, I get it. I, I, I get it. I get it. I do need to brush up on the what? real business. Brush stuff. up? What does that got to do? That's excuse. That is... An excuse that you're making, and that's an ignorant statement that you just made. It's very ignorant, and that's what's the problem that's with that. our people. That's the problem with our people. I'd rather go make some money first, and then figure out other shit later, than be out here in the clouds right. wishing. Keep doing that. Wishing you right. doing something. Keep doing that. Shit ain't got shit to do with what we talking about, but whatever. No, you it, just... it, it should do. Cause right, you, right, right now, no. all the stuff I'm doing. All the stuff I'm doing as far as like, bro, I wasn't counting how much money I was making and stuff last year. The only only way I knew how much money I made is I looked at my bank statements here and there. That's the only way. But I'm saying now I'm really tracking it. Like I'm like I'm I'm really taking the steps to make it more legit. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying. Like you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't, you ain't nowhere near legit. No, nah, well, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's gonna come with time, but I'm. I'm doing a lot better than a lot of people out here, man. I, I, listen, man. You, you know, you gotta, mm -mm. you gotta get in where you fit in. I'm not, I'm not tripping, bro. I, I'm another, not tripping. Like, hey. like, like I told you, man. Another ignorant statement. How, how, man? I, I, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> that's not shit that business people say. That's shit that hustlers and street niggas say. Yeah, bro, I, I never really claimed to be a businessman, bro. I, fuck, I'm, 
I'm, I'm trying to, I, I'm Clearly. trying to strive to be, I'm trying to strive to be legit. Like, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not all the way, all the way there with it. Shit, I, but I, like, like I said, the, the last couple months, I feel like it's been a good base. It's been a good base, man. Like, because before that, uh, I wasn't really, I wasn't really doing that. I was just trying to figure out what I needed to do. And now I'm, now I done got some momentum. I'm like, fuck it. We keep pushing it. We going to, we going to get there, man. So that's, that's all I'm saying here. All right, well, cause shit, right, a, shit, a PR is a PR. Shit, I I, I didn't um, did record uh, record, so shit, I push it again. I hit another record, grind grind hard as possible. Like when I was telling you before I bought the Silverado, like the month that month, I made thirteen thousand. I specifically was in the same kind of space I am, I am now. Like I was like, man, let me push this shit real real hard for a couple months. And that's all I'm doing, bro. That's that's all I'm trying to tell you. Like, I'm 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 gonna make this this shit happen. So that, that's that's all I'm saying, man. All right, make it happen, man. Make it happen. I mean, I've tried to help you this last stream, and you just you know just made an excuse, made excuses, made excuses, made excuses. You haven't really owned up to a lot of the mistakes that you made, or even said, man, Mark, what can I do to do better? Please help me. You just keep making excuses. So keep making the excuses. And, um, you know, whatever. The excuses that you're making and just, I just, you, know, you just going off on the deep end and shit ain't, ain't even make it, making any sense, man. Like, whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how it's not making sense. Mm-hmm. Well, any questions you got for me, man? I ain't got, I ain't got no questions. Okay. No questions. All right. Well, I don't know what else to tell you, bro. So, I hope you figure it out. Appreciate it, but I will. I wish. Sure. All right. All right. Appreciate All right, the conversation. All right.